Linmar High School. Recorded live in our Media Center studios, this is your award-winning LMTV News. Good morning, Linmar. It's Friday, March 14th, 2008. And here's a look at the stories making news across your Linmar campus. Our top story. Remember, this is an early dismissal day. Classes are dismissed at 1.10 today. Guess what? We've made it to the end of the week and the end of the quarter, which means almost the end of the year and the end of our career. Ben and Martha have a look at the weekend rapport. Guys! Winter sports are done. The spring sports are just starting practice. As a result, there are no sporting events going on this weekend. There are no dances planned, no activities. There are new movies opening this weekend, including Near ba Never Back Down and Horton Hears a Who. That's what's happening this weekend. Make it a great one and have a good spring break. See Harrison? you in two Fridays. <laughs> Back to you. Thanks, guys. Want to save some cash on prom night, but still have a great evening? Daniel Arthur is offering a special prom dinner for Linmar students and invites large groups. Cost is $28 a person and includes dessert and beverage and choices of main dish. Price includes tip and tax. Stop by to see Ms. Crandall if you are interested and grab a card with complete menu options and phone numbers for reservations. Ms. Crandall also still has $25 tux discount cards if you didn't get yours yet. We will be right back with LMTV News right after this. Hi now for NCYL, the National Council on Youth Leadership. Nominees must be seniors this fall. You must have been elected or appointed to a leadership position, have no code of conduct violations, and have a minimum GPA of 3.0. You must also submit the following, a cover letter, an updated transcript, a resume, and proof of your leadership positions. Hurry! Only the first 35 qualifiers will be nominated from Linmar. Get your information to Mr. Chouette in the guidance office by Thursday, April 10th at 3.10 p.m. Juniors act now to be a part of the National Council on Youth Leadership. Welcome back. As the quarter comes to a close, please return the books you checked out for your third quarter classes. Return your books to the library today and ask for your reward. Prizes will be given for overdue books. See you today in the Media Center. Now Ben joins us with the morning sports. Ben. Thank you, Harrison. <clears throat> On the Linmar Sports Seat. Uh, anyone who would still like to order a dream, we have extra. Pick it up. Pick up an order form from Ms. Pache in room 159 across from the library. The girls' golf meeting has been postponed and will now be held on Monday, March 24th, after school in room I-015. In obscure sports news, Brawl's been released. Get it. Harrison, that's sports. Back to you. Thanks for that rousing rendition of Linmar Sports. In news from the counselors, the University of Iowa is hosting a high school mathematics day on Saturday, April 5th. It is designed for young women who excel in mathematics. See your counselor for more information. Next year's juniors and seniors, sign up now for a summer or fall internship. Stop by the counseling office today and pick up an application. All applications are due April 3rd. For more information on these stories and more, stop by the counselor's office today or check out their website anytime. Now Kevin has the arts and clubs. KB. Thank you, Harrison. On the Linmar club scene, uh, radio news contest speech all staters will rehearse today after school in the LMTV studio. Writers Inc. members, there will be a mandatory meeting Tuesday after break. Come to Mr. Hopkins' room, C116, immediately after school. A representative from the yearbook will be there to take a group shot. If you're in Writers Inc., you will want to be there. And speaking of yearbook this year, uh, yearbook is looking for now and then pictures. Please turn them in to Miss Kelly as soon as possible. Harrison, that's the club update. Back to you. Thanks, Kevin. Now Ben has the Pie Day edition of lunch. Ben. Thank you, Harrison. It's a royal treat. It's a King's Delight chicken sandwich with broccoli and cheese sauce and peach slices. It's too bad, uh, you know, it's pie day. We're not having pie. Uh. Um, the other lines will offer the sub sandwich bar, pizza, or chef salads. That's lunch. Back to you. Thanks. Delinquent LMTV weatherman sophomore Tony Wagner joins us with your weekend forecast. Tony. Thank you, Harrison. Spring uh, <clears throat> officially starts next week, but spring showers are here early. Your LMTV forecast calls for a 20% chance of showers this afternoon with a high of 46. Tonight, winter returns with a chance of snow and a low of 26. 
and tomorrow, tomorrow will be sunny with a high of 38. The extended forecast calls for a nice day on Sunday, sunny and 43. But St. Patrick's Day will be cold and wet. That's the latest from the Weather Center. Harrison, back to you. Why do you have to depress me with all this rain, Tony? I, sorry. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. Remember, LMTV is always available online. Just go to the high school website. The entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Join us again March 24th, 10 days. Have a great day, great weekend, and enjoy the break.